This short presentation introduces Durkheim's definition of education. We draw on an essay, Education, Its Nature and Its Role, written by Emile Durkheim and published posthumously in the collection Education and Sociology. In this article, Durkheim seeks to establish a sociological definition of education through a process of considering the definitions of education previously offered by a variety of philosophers. Durkheim's contribution to the sociology of education is immense, particularly as his work challenged conventional approaches which saw education as essentially an individual experience. Through the studying of the sociology of education, you will see that Durkheim's contribution is significant because he posited that education was social and as such was implicated in social cohesion and social reproduction. As Durkheim says, Indeed, I regard as the prime postulate of all pedagogical speculation that education is an eminently social thing in its origins as in its functions. So Durkheim's essay begins by considering definitions of education presented by philosophers who have been concerned with the meaning of education. Durkheim examines John Stuart Mill's definition of education. And John Stuart Mill says that education is all that we ourselves do and all that others do for us to the end of bringing us closer to the perfection of our nature. In its most widely accepted sense, it includes even indirect effects on the character and faculties of men produced by things having quite a different objective. By laws, by forms of government, the industrial arts, and even by physical phenomena, independent of human will, such as climate, soil and locality. Durkheim explains that this definition is problematic because it contains a number of elements which are quite disparate, and therefore it is difficult to contain them in one heading. Durkheim also highlights that influences are d different in their effects and processes depending on whether they come from things, from peers and from another generation. Durkheim then goes on to examine a definition of, of education provided by Immanuel Kant, who says the end of education is to develop in each individual all the perfection of which he is capable Durkheim suggests that this is problematic as it is unclear what is meant by perfection. And Durkheim also questions whether such a state would even be desirable. As Durkheim says, we cannot and must not all be devoted to the same kind of life, as he considers it impossible that we could achieve a society where such capabilities could be achieved without interfering with one another. Durkheim then goes on to discuss a further definition proposed by James Mill. He puts forward the idea that the objective of education is to make the individual an instrument of happiness for himself and his fellow man. Durkheim argues that this is not satisfactory as happiness is subjective and therefore is difficult to de determine. In short, Durkheim cri Durkheim's critique of the definitions identified is that education is left to individual fancy. As discussed, for Durkheim education is social rather than individual. And for these reasons, Durkheim argues that these definitions are not adequate. In an attempt to define education, Durkheim argues that we must consider both historical and contemporary educational systems in order to determine the common features which constitute a definition of education, so the core of education. 
In his consideration of education systems, Durkheim finds there are two key elements. One is a generation of adults and two is a younger generation. And these two generations are in interaction with each other. The adult generation exercises an influence on the younger generation. So Durkheim says that society determines a certain number of physical and mental states that the society to which he belongs considers should not be lacking in any of its members. But further than that, society does not require everyone to have the same set of skills and abilities. So further requires certain physical and mental states that the particular social group caste, class, family or profession considers equally ought to be found amongst all those who make it up. Each society and each milieu within that society then determines what kind of education is needed in order to fulfil the skills and attributes it needs. From this, Durkheim then goes on to present the following definition of education. Education is the influence exercised by adult generations on those that are not yet ready for social life. Its objective is to arouse and to develop in the child a certain number of physical, intellectual and moral states which are demanded of him by both the political society as a whole and the special milieu for which he is specifically de destined. In reading Durkheim's essay, Education, Its Nature and Its Role, you will see in more detail how Durkheim critiques these various definitions before proposing his own. You will now need to assess the meaning and the significance of Durkheim's definition and how useful it might be for helping us to consider the role of education as an agent for socialisation.